The president of the Supermarket Association of Trinidad and Tobago says he is awaiting a response from retailers across the country on the recent announcement by the National Flour Mills on the recent 33% price increase in flour, which took effect today, Wednesday. Rajiv Dipti addressed the issue at an agriculture and food expo launch at the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce on Wednesday. Mr. Dipti said he wasn't expecting NFM's decision. I, I'm very surprised that National Flour Mills did not attempt to work out um, a strategy as a state entity where perhaps some of this cost could have been subsidized. Flour is, wheat flour in particular, is a staple in household diets. It's something that's enjoyed in many um, houses. Uh, in the villages, they still give flour porridge as a meal. The SATT president said, however, it's a good thing there are still options for consumers. What of alternatives? The, uh, and where cassava, sweet potatoes, edos, yam, um, potato, um, these, they, there is the capacity for many types of flour. However, from a cost factor, wheat flour remains the most attractive.